Kitchens sell houses, we all know that, and it's because it's become the hub of the home. But what happens if you have a kitchen that's in perfectly good working order, but it's just a bit dated or the colour isn't your cup of tea? Well, you could save yourself thousands by popping to your local brewers to choose the appropriate paint and getting a professional in to paint the units. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with a property I'm renovating in Folkestone. I say get a pro in because this is a job that needs to be done properly if you want to add value to your kitchen and for it to look good for longer. First things first, you need to clean it though. It's best to use sugar soap or methylated spirit to remove grease and grime that might prevent the paint from adhering. Wash all surfaces afterwards with fresh water and allow them to dry. Remove the doors and any furniture before painting. These units are laminate, so we're going to use Zinza 123 from Brewers. If your cupboards are solid wood, you could sand them back, but using this multi-surface primer will save you a lot of time and money as it adheres to most materials and finishes. If painting onto bare wood, there are other primers and substrates you would use, which you can ask about in your local brewers. You should only need one coat of the Zinsa, but your decorator will advise you on this. It's a minimum of an hour before the top coat can be applied. Some decorators will prefer to use spray application, which gives a slightly different finish. Of course, painting rather than replacing your kitchen not only saves money, but also the environment, as you prevent decent furniture from being sent to landfill in the name of fashion. Talking of fashion, the world is my oyster when it comes to colour, because I've used Brewer's colour matching service to find my perfect hue of Albany eggshell. Your decorator will need to do at least two coats of the top coat. I've gone for eggshell because I like the flatter finish. The more glossy the finish though, the more durable it will be, which is important in a busy area like the kitchen. I also opted for acrylic as it's almost odourless and quick drying, so it can be recoated from about six hours, depending on the conditions. If opting for oil-based paint, your decorator will need PPE to cope with the fumes, which is worth bearing in mind if you're living at the property. They will also need to wait at least 16 hours in between coats, again depending on the conditions. Look at this! I love the fact it's a totally unique kitchen, but without the price tag of a bespoke model. What a transformation!